Hi, Scott Houston here. Hey, do you ever feel like your hands just aren't big enough to play piano, right? I hear all the time from students, Scott, my hands just won't stretch far enough to play these four-note chords or some of these bigger things we're doing, right? Well, you're not alone. A lot of people think that, but I've got a few, two or three uh, pragmatic things I can show you that ought to take care of that and make that a non-issue moving forward. So let's tackle that right now in this quick video. Okay, what we're going to tackle is this, this issue that a lot of beginners really feel like, oh, my hand's too small. I just have these you know, little short, stubby fingers, and Scott, I watch your videos, and you have these long, skinny fingers, and I'll never be able to do this, right? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I don't have any exorbitantly long, skinny fingers, and uh, you will be able to do this. So let's dig right in at the piano here. So the issue is, you know, people will say, hey, no problem playing these, you know, three-note chords or something, a triad, but the minute you go to, okay, how about a C7 chord? And then that also has this note attached to it, right? It's a B3 plus a B flat on top. Well, then all of a sudden, uh-oh, you know, danger zone. You're thinking, ah, 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 like, oh, my thumb's not long enough. I'm never going to get there, right? And then you, ah, ah, and you try to get it played, and it's all messed up, and you're giving yourself the carpal tunnel and all that, right? <laughs> well, relax. Here's something I need to show you. Listen to the, what this note sounds like, would you? Okay, sounds good, right? Now keep listening. Hey, it sounds exactly the same no matter where I'm playing it, right? Well, of course it does. Well, it's a weird thing. Beginners, and I only know this from having done this for so long, a lot of beginning students have this tendency to want to play way out on the keys. Like, they want to play way out on the ends. And what that does then, when you have to use your thumb or your pinky if you're doing something, you know, on a black note, you're, you're in deep trouble because you've got to wrench your hand all sideways. Well, here's how you solve it, as, as ridiculously simple as this is. Just shove your hand away, you know, away from you toward the piano an inch or two until your finger gets long enough to play it. Piece of cake. Problem solved. Right? That's it. Same thing happens if your pinky's going to play a black note. Like, say you want to play a, a B-flat major 7. It's these four notes. It's... Right? So you're all good here, but then you think, oh no, oh, and you're, uh, uh, you know, trying to get your pinky out there. Just push your hand away a little bit. Just zoop, about an inch or two. And it just very relaxingly will get there. So point to be made with this is you should never have your hands all wrenched around, whether you're playing left or right hand chords. You should never have to do that. It's just, it, it should just, you know, be this pretty straightforward Relax thing and you may have to push your hands forward a little bit, but you can get to everything you need to like that So that's one great thing. All right, so there's one issue. Just push your hands away from you. All right now. Here's another one um, There are some times when you're really like playing say you're splitting a chord over two measures sometimes for like accompaniment reasons you do something like like Right Something like that where you just are, you know, there's just some sort of a simple thing you're doing. Well, that's kind of a long stretch, no doubt about it. But the way you can do it, if you're ever really stretching longer than you can just reach, right, just kind of, if they call it arpeggiate, just try to rock up to it from the bottom. Just don't play them all together if you're trying to do this. You know, just go like this instead. So, ba-da-dum. Right? But you want to do it real fast and just do it with your pedal held down and it'll just kind of fake everybody out so so i don't care how little your hands are you could always do that right but do so just kind of rock back and forth that's like the old octave trick when you want to play octaves if you have a struggle with that for hand size reasons just play one first and then the other like that and you can you know if you need to you can move back and forth um finally the third thing you can always do if you really are still struggling is you can always just play an inversion of a chord. And I, I've got other videos about inversions, but basically when you invert a chord, you just stack it in a different order. So for example, if that's, and I wouldn't be doing this, but I'm just doing this so you can see all the notes, C, E, G, B flat, that's a C7 chord. Well, if you want to invert it, you just take whatever's on the bottom and move up an octave and put it on top. Well, by doing that, that's usually a much simpler thing for a lot of people to play you know, because they think it's, 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 well, it is. It's a little bit closer together. You could do it one more time and bring that E up here and play like this. Right, that's like a closer hand position than having to do this. Although, frankly, now that I taught you this trick about moving your hand away, this should never give you fits again. So, so there you have it. So, 
a couple, two or three solutions. I promise that you don't have excessively short hands. <laughs> it's funny, I do live workshops a lot in the past, and people would always walk up to me after a workshop with kind of a funny look, and it was like a, a science, it was like a, a Star Trek thing, a Vulcan thing. They'd walk up and do this to me. <laughs> they'd, wanna, they'd be like, put your hand up here. I want to see how big my hand is compared to yours. And, you know, <laughs> invariably it was, you know, minute differences. But, uh, yeah, the point to be made here is just either push your hand away from you or use your pedal. But I, I would be really stunned, uh, assuming you're over the age of, you know, 10 or 11. Maybe if you're a, a really young kid, that's an issue. But once you get to be uh, adult age, it's, it's normally not an issue. It's just a function of learning a few of these tricks. So enough of that. Hopefully that puts another little issue to bed. And as always, have fun playing piano.